Hi, I'm Peter Kalmström of Kalmström.com Business Solutions. In this demonstration, I will talk to you about sending out emails with formatting. So I've done a few other demonstrations on how to send notifications in general about new items being added to a document library or a list. I'm not going to do that again, or actually I am going to do that again, but I'm just going to run through it real quick. I'll start a new workflow here, notify about new procedure like that, and then we're going to uh, go to end, and then I'm going to send an email. Of course, this is going to start from when a new item is created. So that's the basics. We've done that a few other times, but now we're going to send an email, and I'm going to just send it to myself for testing now. And there I am, and just test new procedure. What we're going to focus on in this demonstration is the formatting. As you see, this is an RTF editor, rich text format, and it can do a lot of things, but it cannot do tables, and it cannot do images. So I'll show you how to do both those things. The tables is rather easy. Images is a bit more difficult, so I'm going to go through that. So the, uh, the way to do tables is very easy. You just go into Word, and here I've already prepared a bit of a table that I'm going to be using. Of course, this is not relevant for the example, but I just created a quick table, put some nice bright coloring onto it, and now I'm just going to copy this. And when I copy from Word, the RTF formatting gets translated perfectly, including the table, of course. Notice that you cannot change the column widths in here, so you need to do that, of course, properly before you uh, copy it from Word. And what you can do, though, is add or change the, the text and the lookup. So I'm just going to put a, the name of the document in here. So I have something uh, in there. All right, and you see this, uh, the column width do change when I put the data in there. So let's try this out now. I'm just going to publish this. Uh, jump over to my procedures and find a workflow or start a workflow. I'm not going to start create a new document here. I'll just notify about a new procedure. Um, that's going to run. And then I'll go into my mailbox to check that mail. Just see that we actually get the formatting that we wanted. So I'll open that in a new tab. And here we are in the other tab there. You see um, I got the bicycle sales, which was the name of the, the documents that I ran the workflow on. So that's working. I'm getting the formatting that I need in terms of tables. To get images into this, I'm going to go back into the workflow. And there you need to build up the HTML string. And the best way to do that is, in my opinion, to create a local variable and just call it HTML or whatever. And I'm going to set the workflow variable that I just defined. And when I select the workflow variable HTML, then you see I can get the value and I can get my display builder here. And I can build the string. What I want now is just a image tag. So of course, I'm going to use a rich text editor for that. So I'm using Visual Studio here, but you can use anything, of course. So first of all, you need to find the image that you're going to use. I'm going to use our logo, Kalmstrom.com website, because you do need uh, an image that is available freely. So to find the image here, now this is a LinkedIn image, so I can't see the image URL. So to do that, I'm going to just bring up the developer tools and just inspect the element here. That's the element I want. So I'm just going to click that, and there's the image. So that's the a URL to my image. I'm going to copy that. That's what I need. So yeah, I want those in Edge, of course. There we go. And now I'm going to just do an image tag here. So image, there we go. Source to that equals, there we go, the whole URL. Of course, I could have copied more of some of that HTML there, but I'm just going to do like that. Now I'm just going to close this tag there. So that's all really what I need to, to show an image in my outgoing email. So I'm just going to paste all that. And there we're done. All right. And then in the, in the email here, I'm going to just insert that variable that I just created. And I'm just going to insert that a string, of course. That's what I need. 
All right, so let's try that again now. I'll publish that. Go over to my procedures. And let's do the Antonio TXT file. Let's run it on that, the workflow there. And let's kick this off. Go into my email there. And there should be a new one coming here any second now. There we go, test new procedure. And there is a dangerous link there. I'm just going to always show content from the sender. Let's get there. And there you see I got the whole banner thing there. So I got, I got an included image in my email. And of course, if this URL is on your internet, that warning would not show up in your email. And of course, from now on, it will uh, trust SharePoint Online in my Outlook Web Access here. So that shows you how to do a email with formatting in terms of a table and in terms of any HTML, including, of course, images. Thank you for watching this demonstration.